Coming up in this video... I think I'm gonna be sick. Uh, here, take these. Are you kids all right? <laughs> that was the best trick-or-treating ever! I know! I got so much! <laughs> I scored my favorite! Swedish fish! Well, I can't wait to try the new Kit Kat Witch's Brew. That's not fair! I didn't get any Witch's Brew! Well, I didn't get any Reese's Pieces! Looks like we have to do a trade, Zs. Okay, but we have to hide most of this before Dad gets home. I'll trade you this Milky Way for those red vines. First off, it's a Twizzler, and I'm keeping this one. That's not fair. If you want one of these, you're gonna have to make me a really good deal. Really? You're gonna treat your poor little brother that way? Nice try, Noah. Give me two Sour Patch Kids and I'll give you one of these. Okay, you win. Two Sour Patch Kids and a Swedish Fish for three of those. What? Oh no, here she comes. <gasps> oh, you kids are back already? It's not even dark outside. Oh, our buckets were full. And Dad said to be home by eight. Boy, you guys got a lot of candy. Why don't I hold on to some of that for you? No! Fine, you kids can keep that, but only if you go back out and get some candy from me. Go trick-or-treating for you? Our real mom never made us do that. Well, I'm your mom now, so you're gonna do what I say. Why did dad marry her anyway? The same reason he got rid of the minivan. Why is that? He traded in on a new model. Uh, what are you kids whispering about? Uh, oh, nothing. We were thinking about giving you some treats. Or a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you kids better go out there and get me some candy or else there's gonna be no dinner for you two. Really? Do we have to? Who needs dinner when we have a buffet? On second thought, you kids don't have to go out after all. I'll just take my cut. What? That's not fair. You know, you kids are very lucky to have me as your new stepmom. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Life's not fair. That's not a lesson. Fine, we'll go get you some candy. Good. Well, you better hurry up before your dad gets home. We don't have any more buckets. We're gonna have to use these. Well, what are we gonna do with this stuff? Come on, let's go put it in my room. I'm home! Noah! Emma! You around? Honey, you're home. So good to see you. How is the office? You know, work is work but I'm getting ready for that business trip tomorrow. Where are the kids at? Well, you know, it's Halloween. Ah, must be trick or treating. I hope they don't get too much candy. It might make them sick. They already trick or treated. They're not trick or treating again. Oh, then where are they? They're not here, they, they went to a friend's house. Oh, well, I hope I get to see them before I leave for my trip tomorrow. Of course, they should be back anytime with my, uh, with each other. That sounds great. Are there any plans for dinner? Well, as a matter of fact, honey, I got your favorite. I'm gonna reheat Olive Garden. Well, it is my favorite. Well, it was my favorite last night and the night before. Can, can't we try just something different? I was thinking the same thing, but the kids really wanted it. And you know I give them anything they want, so I reheated it. You know what? You are right. When you say that the kids are lucky to have someone like you. You know what, sweetie? I'm gonna be up in the office, getting ready for this trip. Do you mind bringing it up to me? Oh, no problem, honey. You know I'm a whiz with the microwave. Brandy, we're home. And we brought your candy. Shh. How many times have I told you to call me mom? Sorry, we're just not used to that. Do you want this or not? You know what? You kids keep it. I've already got the other candy. But this doesn't have any red vines. Yeah, this is a rotten deal. I don't care. Go to your room or else I'm gonna have your dad take it all away. I can't believe it. Worst Halloween ever. I wish dad was here. Noah and Emma should be eating dinner right now, but stepmom is letting them eat Halloween candy instead. <sighs> I better go to bed, but I should put this candy away first. 
I know. I'll only take a little bit to bed. Well, you know why they call it sweet dreams. <laughs> I'm so tired. I can't sleep. Why am I so wide awake? I better hide this before Dad gets home. Good morning, Emma. Dad, I missed you last night. I missed your Halloween. How was trick-or-treating? Oh, it was really good. Except Bambi made us go out and get candy for her, too. She did what? Yeah, and she didn't even give us dinner. She made us eat Halloween candy. You've got to be kidding me. That That's irresponsible. And she keeps telling us that we have to call her mom. Well, I guess there's no substitute for mom. You know, you guys should get married again. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? I came in to remind you that I'm leaving for my business trip to Orlando this morning. Oh, can we go? Honey, I wish I could, but it's for work. Oh, great. So we're stuck with Bambi? Don't worry. I'll make sure she takes care of you and gives you real food. Oh, you mean like reheated Olive Garden? Well, if she gives you any trouble, you can always call me. Mm, maybe I'll just call Mom. Hey there, Tiger. I was trick-or-treating last night. Oh, it was really good. Except Emma's not much of a sharer. Well, I'm sure you got lots of good stuff this year. Oh yeah, I got a good stash. I mean, I got some. Well, I wanted to remind you I'm going on that business trip to Orlando this morning. Oh, well, I'd like to go, but I don't feel so well. Really? Are you gonna have to skip school? Yeah. I think I have a stomach bug or something. Are you sure you just didn't eat too much candy? Oh no, Dad. Candy never makes me sick. Okay. I'll have your new mom take care of you today. She's not my mom. Either way, I will see you when I get back from Orlando, okay? at school while Noah's at home because he ate too much Halloween candy. Noah, Noah, wake up! Dad's on the phone! What is it? He wants to talk to you! Dad? Why are you in Orlando? Like I told you this morning, I had to go away on business. Are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm feeling much better. Can Emma and I come see you in Orlando? <laughs> That's why I called. I bought you three airline tickets. Emma! We're going to Orlando! Just you and I? What do you mean, us three? Well, your stepmom has to take you. The kids get to go to Orlando. Too bad their stepmom has to come along, too. Yeah, it's basically like... I'm so excited to go to Orlando. Yeah, the rides are world class. And so are the spas. <laughs> Spa? What's with that? Aren't you coming to the theme parks with us? Mm, I'll leave that for your dad. But you could go on a log ride. Or go on a safari adventure and see elephants and giraffes. At the spa, they have special attractions too. Like permanent makeup, derma fillers. Well, do they have a submarine ride there? Or can you feed dolphins? No, but I can do a seaweed wrap or an ear candle. Ear candle? I think I'd rather tour a spaceship. Or go hang gliding across America. We're not going hang gliding, we're getting on a plane. No, Soren is a ride. We know we're getting on a plane. And when do we board, by the way? I don't know, but I'm gonna get some food before we get on this plane. Do you kids want anything? Oh no. We got plenty. Okay, fine by me. Well, 
passengers, as we prepare for liftoff, I would like to make sure that your seat belts are fastened, that your tray tables are in the upright and locked position, and all your personal items and luggage are safely stowed. Have a safe and pleasant flight with us today to Orlando. Excuse me, there is no outside food permitted on the aircraft. It's not outside food, it's candy. Ma'am, if your children eat that much candy, they could get airsick. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just Halloween candy. Halloween candy or not, it could still make them sick and cause a flight emergency. But they're just this big. They can't make you sick. Look, just put it away until we land and it will be fine. Okay, kids, just put it away. What? We like it. Just do what she says. We're fine here. All right, very good then. I don't feel so good. Mm, neither do I. Do you have the stomach flu too? Mm. I think I'm gonna be sick. Mm. Uh, here, take these. Mm. Are you kids all right? Let me see those bags. Ma'am, you should know you can't have your kids bring this much candy on a plane. Uh, they're not my kids. Let me see this one. This better be empty. I can't believe it. You unaccompanied kids need to come with me. That's fine. Take them off my hands. They're nothing but trouble anyway. The flight attendant decides to reseat the kids because they aren't feeling well, and there's no one to take care of them. Oh, the plane's here. Dad! Dad! How was your flight? Oh, it was good. He got airsick on the plane. And stepmom left us. What? Your stepmom isn't here. Oh, she's still on the plane. She's sitting by herself. Huh. We're not going to need her anymore. Really? Why is that? Because. Guess who's back? Emma! Noah! No! <laughs> what? We're a family again. Feels so good. I'm hungry. Let's get candy. Oh, great. Now I have to find a new husband. <sighs> Noah and Emma's stepmom didn't like taking care of them. Good thing their mom and dad got back together, giving everyone a happy ending. Halloween only comes once a year, but family is forever. If you liked this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to see all the new ones. Bye!